Hey everybody, I'm Patrick and this is Rocky Mountain Style. Welcome back to the channel. If uh, you're new here, welcome for the first time. So today we are talking about this particular jacket and this is just gonna be a quick look, not an in-depth review. Uh, and this may not need a lot of introduction. Uh, many of you, if you're watching this video, you're probably familiar with wax jackets, which means you're probably familiar with Flint and Tinder wax jackets. But this of course is the Flint and Tinder wool lined wax trucker jacket. So gets its name from that nice comfy wool lining there. Of course, uh, Huckberry uh, sells many Flint and Tinder wax jackets. They have a wool line, flannel line, an unlined. They have a couple more that are slightly different styles that aren't truckers, uh, you know, ranch jacket, you know, things like that. So there's no shortage of wax jackets, uh, you know, on the Huckberry side, if you're looking for something like that. Uh, last year, I actually had a chocolate version of this and did a very in-depth review comparing it to the flannel lined wax trucker. So I'll put a link here if you want to check that out first. Uh, and again, this will just be a quick look talking about this particular color, which is field tan. So Huckberry sent me this jacket specifically to do another type of a comparison. So I have a flannel line wax trucker that I bought myself uh, a little over two years ago. And so uh, in the future here in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to, do, going to do a review showing the differences between the look of a brand new uh, wax canvas field tan and what you can expect after two years. So a lot of the uh, patina pictures you see show, you know, just the coolest uh, striations and the coolest variations in color and things like that. Um, but you know, it's marketing. So is it really trustworthy? What's it going to look like? So that's what that other video in the future will aim to show. So if you want to know a little bit more about this particular jacket though, stick around and we'll get into it. Thanks. Okay, enough of that nonsense. Let's talk about some specs of the wool lined wax trucker jacket. Of course, this is made in the USA, as many of you already know. Um, the Martexan, which is a, a type of fabric, uh, 8.25 ounce shelter cloth made in New Jersey. So uh, in the in-depth review I did last year, I talked about, uh, about this company and the things they do. Uh, just know for this that 8.25 ounces, the, the canvas on the wool line is slightly thicker, slightly heavier than on the flannel line. I believe it's a seven ounce on the flannel line. So we've got four colors, field tan, which is what I have today, uh, chocolate, which is what I had last year. And a good friend of mine uh, loved the jacket. So he now has the jacket and is uh, putting some patina on it. We'll show that off at some point. Uh, charcoal, which is mostly out of stock, as you can see here. But uh, they do restock these periodically throughout the season, I have noticed. So if you really like charcoal, odds are it will come back. And then forest, which is kind of a, a brown with a little bit of a green tint to it, which is a really nice color that I do like. But yeah, so field tan, there we go. Uh, $358 for something of this quality made in America that is this amount of uh, heaviness and warmth. I don't even think $358 is a bad price. Uh, it's an extremely substantial jacket that's likely to last you many, many, many years. So on a cost per wear basis uh, for something that ends up being cooler and cooler as you wear it, um, I think you could probably do worse than that. So if, if it's the uh, buy once, cry once uh, <laughs> mantra that many of us adhere to. But uh, yeah, so interior media pocket. Um, this one here, sleeves lined with a smooth quilted polyester for easy entry, is one of the big ones. So the flannel line jacket is uh, the same blanket flannel throughout, whereas this one has polyester sleeves uh, that permeate the, or sorry, polyester lining that permeate the sleeves, letting you slip on the jacket over a flannel or over whatever else you want to slip it on over. So that's, that's probably the main reason to get this beyond the fact that it is a bit warmer than the other one. Uh, yeah, that's uh, Japanese wool blanket cloth. There's really not a whole lot more to say about it, um, you know, in this quick look here, uh, other than it's pretty sweet. Uh, I'm wearing a large today. My chest is about 44 inches. So 
you can consider these to be a little bit off. And I also have the medium in the flannel line, then it fits me a little smaller, but still fits fine. So uh, if you're in the 44 chest range, you know, large is fine, unless you want it to be enormous. Uh, if you're if you're down closer to 41, 42 inch chest, you could probably slip into a medium if you wanted. But uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions about sizing and I'd be happy to uh, let you know. Here in the next few clips, I'm just going to show off a little bit of the detail. So this wool lining is is a blend. So it's not really scratchy like you'd get with something that's 100% wool that's this sort of rough texture. And there is uh, the entry to the sleeve, that polyester lining I was talking about. The interior pocket is sewn on really well, and it's the same material as the outside, which I think is a pretty cool touch. Uh, not only does it look cool, but it uh, fits the phone perfectly. And then here it is from the front, showing off just some of the stitching, uh, some of the contrast there with the stitching and how the, the fabric comes waxed. Uh, the, the buttons there are pretty cool as well. They're Flint and Tinder branded, of course. They feel good. They feel substantial. I've had several Flint and Tinder products and worn them many, many times. These types of jackets, I've never had any issues with the buttons at all coming off or anything, or, or really anything coming apart on any of these jackets. You can see there the, uh, the side pocket, hand warmer pocket, very nicely stitched, uh, really high quality looking type stuff. One of the interesting things about these is that they already come looking kind of cool because they're packaged up and they move around. So the wax is already kind of kind of broken in, which is neat. And then here is uh, the large, like I said. So it is buttoned up. Again, 44 inch chest, 5'8 and a half, 191, 192 pounds. I have a flannel on underneath. It's the Wellen Hazy Brushed Flannel I did a review on a little while ago. Uh, I have plenty of range of motion in this. Uh, if it was cold outside, I'd definitely have this buttoned up just like this. Um, so really that's about it. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, again, on the left here is the, uh, the new one that I have on the right is the chocolate one I had last year, uh, standing there in Denver on a snowy night. My wife and I were going out to dinner. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Have a fantastic day. You guys.